skin essentially is an inside job like so you really need to have a clean system to kind of reflect on your skin uh so i think lifestyle changes which are more difficult to make than applying anything on your face um but if you can achieve that um you know simple lifestyle changes like eating balanced food and sleeping you know you know there was this one time i was shooting very very hectically and i went to my my you know nutritionist and um, i have under eye bags what do i do i have to shoot you know i have to look a certain way he's like you have to sleep i'm like uh, but i can't sleep tell me something else it's like there's nothing else you can do just go and sleep but you know what the problem is these things there is no actual solution for it like i can i can tell you hacks but you know there are more basic problems i mean there are more basic things that you need to sort before you can go to those hacks yeah so i think that if you generally have a more balanced and a more like i have i have to have a very disciplined lifestyle otherwise my skin does not look like this all the time i think when your skin is good naturally even the slightest amount of makeup looks nice uh you know you can put all the makeup in the world but you can't really um you there's no substitute for you know skin that's just you know either dehydrated or you know uh, burnt out with you know just constant exhaustion so i feel like those things you really can't hide with i mean you can to an extent conceal it but not really completely um, hide it with makeup the strangest thing in, i think that i've applied is not even strange i think it's just like um you know that earth clay kind of thing with with apple cider vinegar yeah i think that is pretty weird because i don't know how i got convinced into putting that on my face cuz my face was red i was trying to get rid of two pimples which made my entire face look like a pimple so that was a bad idea <laughs> so when i was younger i used to really fiddle with it i used to always break my pimples and then i realized that that doesn't work so i stopped you know um stop meddling with my pimples but okay this probably comes under your that question what is the weirdest thing you put on your face but the fact remains your own saliva the one which is in the morning actually has the ability to you know dry out your uh, and work on your i mean this is fine sounds a bit gross but it actually does work uh so there have been many times when i have not wanted to apply you know medication but i i would really like to tell this to a lot of young girls out there is that if you have a skin issue which is recurring it's very important to take medical help please go see a doctor because most mostly it's to do with your internal system it's got to do with you know you either are suffering something which is related to your hormones or related to your reproductive system or just a lifestyle change that your body is looking at so but investigating that is really important just it's not the aesthetic part only but it's a reflection of what's happening inside your body i think uh, for me uh, uh, coconut oil is something that i swear by like whenever things go wrong uh, uh, onion juice is something i also like onion juice and coconut oil is something i swear by i think it works uh, on my head beautifully um and uh, and yeah like a uh, uh, even curd i think curd really uh, i think my my hair tends to get very um burnt out with like constant heat application you know with like tongs and stuff like that we keep using for styling 